Hey, High School Ministry, it's Kevin here with your recap from the final week of our series, Taboo. On Sunday, we talked about gender and sexuality, and these are difficult topics, and I just want to encourage you, if you're gonna have a conversation with somebody, sit down, be willing to listen, ask good questions, make sure you're defining terms uh, the same way, because sometimes we have a misunderstanding in the terminology, and that can lead us into some strong disagreements. But we did talk about how in Genesis 127, we see that God created mankind, uh, male and female. And there are some people who would maybe push back against that today, but, but we believe that God is the creator of all things, uh, and he created us male and female. And then we, we talked a good bit about sexuality, specifically homosexuality. And there are a lot of different misconceptions that the Bible doesn't say anything about it, or that it doesn't mention it very often, or it's only in the Old Testament, or that Jesus never talked about it. And we kind of knocked those all down. Yes, Jesus did in fact speak about homosexuality. Yes, the Bible clearly does define that as sin, but it is not the ultimate sin. Someone who is living a homosexual lifestyle is no more a sinner than somebody who's living in lies or greed or Sin is sin and it all equally separates us from God. And so if you're struggling with sin, you need to confess that, repent, and turn to God. Uh, if you are living in homosexual sin, that's no different. So this is a difficult topic. That's why we did it in this taboo series. If you have more questions, uh, we looked at some resources. I've got a ton of books I'd love to just uh, give to you if you want to study more about it or we can sit and talk. Uh, if you or somebody you know is struggling with same-sex attraction, which we made that distinction, same-sex attraction versus living that lifestyle, they, they are different. Um, we'd love to talk with you, so please feel free to reach out to me. We love you, we are praying for you, and we look forward to seeing you next week when we kick into a new series.